A few videos ago, we asked the question, can Mevo Start cameras be used with the Yolo Box Pro wirelessly? Looking for answers, not having answers today, but I know that this community can put their heads together and come up with a great solution. This video is the answer to that question. One thing to note, until Yolo Live gives us NDI on the Yolo Box Pro, if that's even a possibility, every solution will be either expensive or a workaround. We can wire in a Mevo Start via USB. We can wire it in via UVC to HDMI converter. But getting wireless input to the Yellow Box Pro at an acceptable resolution has required an HDMI transmitter. That's expensive. Here's my workaround. First, let's put each of our cameras in NDI mode. This is done in the original Mevo app. We can click on the ellipsis in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, the gear wheel, and then the NDI toggle switch is just right there on the right. Make sure that's turned on. We can disconnect and it will verify we are in NDI mode in the camera panel for each of these cameras. Now for NDI to work, your cameras and control devices all have to be on the same network. Now we can take an app called NDI Multiview and Record. It's in the top director family of apps by the same app designer as top director. We can find our cameras on the network that are put in NDI with this app. Here's how that looks. In the settings on the bottom right hand corner of this little app, we can see that we have nine channels available to us and in each channel we have some options. Now the bottom third on the right hand side of this screen is going to give us our NDI sources. Pull down to refresh and it will reload that section so that I can see what cameras I have available to me on this particular network. Now you see three of them are my Mevo cameras. I do have an NDI HX camera that is also on this network. I'm testing that for a future video. It's a review for our church streams. I'm looking forward to getting you some information out about that particular camera. But what we're looking at here is channel one needs to be enabled. I have some other things I can turn on that we, can, we will leave off at this time. And then I need to choose which camera goes with channel one, channel two, Channel three, the same for these three Mevo cameras. Now I can tap on the monitor tab on the bottom left and I can see I have my cameras available. Now that bottom right hand one is the NDI HX. We can ignore it for now. But what this is going to do is allow me the ability to take this view and run it into the Yolo Box Pro. All I have to do is plug in my iPad to my Yolo Box Pro via one of my HDMI inputs. Now it does take this little USB-C to HDMI adapter to get there, or you can buy a specialized cable that has HDMI on one end and USB-C on the other. Either way, you're running it out of the USB-C port on the end of your iPad and you're running it into the Yolo Box Pro. This works with any device that sends an HDMI signal through that port. It doesn't have to be iOS, it doesn't have to be Android, it can be any of those. You can do it with an iPhone, with a lightning to USB adapter. It does send an HDMI signal and it's a clean signal that goes out. The only issue that we'll see is that it's at, not at the right aspect ratio. It's a little bit off for, for iPads and we'll show you the fix or the workaround for that as well. But for now, here's what we have and here's how it works. When I double tap on any of these, it gives me a full screen or at least really close to full screen view of that particular picture. In my YOLO box, I can see that it's just a little bit smaller than full screen and that's because of the aspect ratio of the iPad. I can show you the difference by putting up a graphic that takes up the whole screen and you can see how much larger that graphic is than the screen we have here. Here's where things get really good. Because of the newest update for Yolo Box Pro, the version 3.0 software upgrade, we now have the ability to crop into whatever picture we want. So we can actually use this to fill this image up on the screen. Yes, technically that's a little bit less than 1920 by 1080, but it's really close and it is a high resolution, high enough resolution that our live stream will really like what it gets to see.
All right, so let's do that. If I tap on the upper right hand corner, I can go into cropping and then I can choose the size. I'm going to size it up to the full size of what picture I see. I'm going to choose fit to screen and then I'm going to click done. I will save this one as new. So now I have a full screen version. Same as the graphic, full screen version of the Mevo Start going wirelessly into the Yellow Box Pro. Wirelessly with an asterisk because wirelessly to my iPad and the iPad still has to be wired to the Yellow Box Pro. But I'm gonna set those two things up where I am. I can still run this Mevo Start over at first base. I can run it down at third base. I can run it uh, outside the press box. If I'm setting up in the press box, I can run it outside the press box mounted on the fence. And I don't have to have all of my cameras right here within wiring distance. That's huge for those of us that have already been used to using our Mevo Starts for baseball streams, church streams, wedding streams, whatever it is, but want to be able to have the functionality all of the features of that YOLO Box Pro, and now we do. One more thing to show you. So as we look at our two shots, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna adjust my original HDMI cropping. I'm gonna scale it to something similar to what it is right now. I'm gonna give a zoomed in version of the full screen, especially if I'm in a worship setting or if I'm in a baseball setting, this zoomed in version of a bigger shot is exactly what I'm looking for many, many times. If I'm looking at the entire infield, I'm usually gonna put the pitcher catcher exchange in the middle of that. So when I go to my cropped in view, it's also gonna be in the middle of that and I should have just a closer shot of the pitcher catcher exchange. We'll fit that to screen as well. We'll click done and this time, I'm going to edit the original video. And look at what I have. Now I have a zoomed in shot that is full screen and a zoomed out shot that is full screen, both from the same Mevo camera. I keep saying here's the good part, but the good part keeps coming. The next thing that I get to show you then is getting off of that camera and going to a different camera. Double tap. Now I still have the same two shots the zoomed out version that is cropped where it needs to be so it's full screen and the zoomed in version and it's just right because we cropped to the center. No matter what camera now I throw up, no matter what camera now I bring into view, I'm going to have that zoomed out and that zoomed in both still persisting in my Yellow Box Pro settings in the screen that I have there. I can get off of that one by swapping down. I can go over to this one. And once again, because it's my HDMI input, I have both shots zoomed in and zoomed out on that view. I was able to take this and use it at a football game this weekend. Two Mevo's attached to the fence and the Sony Handycam in the stands. The ability to change cameras at a moment's notice lets me follow the action a little bit better. Especially as we look at sports streaming, we're gonna find being able to bring our Mevo starts in wirelessly is gonna be a great benefit to the Yellow Box Pro.